Hey there, Ron Sullivan, your online hitting consultant. I want to talk to you today about the front foot opening. And if you listen to uh, most um, hitting instructors on YouTube and even Josh Donaldson recently on MLB Central is talking about opening that front foot up. And, um, and look, I, I wish that I could make that in my world when I work with kids in absolute where I just say, hey, I want you to open your front foot up and uh, everything's going to be great. Uh, one of the things fundamentally that a young player has to do is learn how to stay on the ball, right? Um, and oftentimes, uh, the front foot opening, as many of us understand, right? The front foot opening for a lot of young players as they're learning the game is not necessarily a good idea because of what happens when the front foot is opening, right? And so today I hope to show uh, and help you uh, if you're if you're debating this with yourself and saying, oh, should I be opening my front foot up? Should my player be opening his front foot up? Some things to look for, right? And to make sure that your player is doing it correctly, right? So that they're not getting themselves in a position where they're off the ball or pulling their front side off the ball or so forth, right? So um, if you watch this young man on the, the left now, their pre-swing is going to be a little bit different. He's got a little bit of a, uh, a knee lift, right? A little bit like Bryce Harper, right, in this regard. But one of the things that we want to watch out for is whenever we're coming to the ground, and it's very typical for players that are opening their front foot up, is that they open the entire front leg all the way from the, the, the foot, right, to the hip or the pelvis, right? And my, my belief in this is whenever, the, whenever the, um, all of these muscles and ligaments are working together to open the front foot up, this is when the player gets in a little bit of trouble. And this is something to watch for, right? And when you watch Murphy, now he's a nose strider, but I believe that the idea is still the same in regard to how we open our front foot up and what, what the purpose is of opening the front foot up. All right? So first off, uh, let's look at how he opens the front foot up. I, I, I consider um, when I'm watching Murphy do this, probably everything inside of that box is working to open the front foot, right? The hip inside of the hip socket or the hip socket a little slot. I'm sorry, I'm not a scientist. All right, that stuff is obviously probably pivoting inside of the socket just a little bit. But one of the things that I want to draw your attention to is how his hips generally stay closed, right? The pelvis, if you will, right? This guy is disconnected from this lower half action that's happening right there, right? And what's important about this is, is number one, understanding why uh, these guys open their front foot up, particularly Murphy in this case, is that what this does for Murphy is it creates more or less resistance for the hips to turn, right? So opening that front side up, right, the way he's doing it, is, is basically creating some freedom for once he gets to the ground for his hips to drive more freely, right? So a lot of players, when they close their front foot off, right, they feel a little blocked off you know, particularly on inner half pitches. And so this opening allows that the, the path, if you will. So when I get my heel down, right, now my hips have freedom to turn without any resistance, okay? And so I believe that even in a big stride, you should try to accomplish the same thing and that you're not connecting from the foot up to the pelvis, right? You're not connecting that action so that everything opens at the same time because it limits how much our hips are going to get, how much we're going to get through the ball. Not, it doesn't limit how much your hips are going to turn. Obviously, if you open your front foot up completely, right, you're going to turn your hips. That's not the point. The point is, is how, much, how much hips I'm going to have in the ground driving against the ground. That's ultimately where I'm going to get a lot of my power from. Right. So if you're if you're playing at home and you want your player to open their front foot up to whatever degree, 45 degrees, whatever, I would just try to pay a lot of attention to uh, whether or not they're connecting that opening with their hips or their pelvis in this case. Right. And the more you can get a player to open his front foot up and not allow his hips to be part of that, then once he gets the hill plant or she gets the hill plant, they're going to have a lot more to turn through. So there's some things to look for there. Just make sure that they're not connecting that entire front side to open, and you're going to see a player's going to have a lot more power.